I, uh, oh, here's a guy who drives me crazy. Oh, now he's not there. I just saw him there. Jeff the Drunk. I was going to yell at him. What's he up to, and why were you going to yell? I was driving in my car, listening to Howard 100 News, mm -hmm. just at the beginning of our vacation. And Jeff the Drunk was on there crying like a little bitch about how Eric the Midget participated in the IQ test, and we paid him some money, and how he doesn't get any money, and he was in the IQ test, and why don't we ever pay? And I mean, crying, uh, it reminded me of a three-year-old. I, I, do we have that report, Gary? You've got to hear it. It's on GP2 and Green. Thank you. It is the greatest thing ever. you got to hear it. This guy's a fucking grown man. Listen to this guy. Here, GP2, what do you say? In Green? Okay. Here you go. Listen to this report. It's the greatest report ever. God bless Shuli and Jeff the Drunk. Listen to this thing. Oh, product placement. Jeffrey. Yeah, what? Uh, do you want I want to talk to you. What's with the attitude? Yeah, what, what do you want? Someone is not a happy camper, and that someone is Jeff the Drunk Kuro. His IQ score was bested by his mortal enemy, Eric the Midget. And apparently, that's just the tip of the Kuro iceberg. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. It hey, sucks. Hey, what are you, what are you mad at me it's for? Hey, what's going on, man? Talk to me. Freaking, it's bullshit. What's bullshit? You think, you think... Yeah, it's bullshit. You don't believe the results? No, I believe it. No, it's bullshit. Fucking, he demands money. How he gives it to him. He fucking, I ask for money, I get yelled at. And I'm a fucking pain in the ass. Fuck him. Fuck him. I'm fucking through with it. You threw with what? Fuck it. You threw with what? I'm through with everything. Hello, Jeff. Jeffrey. <laughs> I love my job. Well, I couldn't end it on that note, so I called Jeff back, and I'm glad I did. I want to talk to Aaron about it. He don't want to talk about it, because he knows he's wrong. Do you have a list of demands that you want met, like Eric? No, I just want him to fucking treat me right, motherfucker. Treat me right. Treat me like fucking shit. Oh, my God. And I'm fucking pissed. I can do everything for Eric. Everything. Gets him gigs. Raise him money. Fucking does everything for him. He don't do shit for me. Well, there's some people that would say that Eric is, you know, he's handicapped. He's in a wheelchair. He's, he's a... I'm handicapped. <laughs> no matter what the fuck anyone thinks. All right, well, listen, at last final statement, go ahead, and then I'll leave you alone. What the fuck? What the fuck? What a... Chewy Agar, Howard 100 News. What a man-child. That's him. Dude, you are the ultimate douchebag. I mean, that's just shameful. You don't see any difference between you and Eric. I'm just... Fucking handicapped. I don't you guys mean. Don't see that? I don't mean the difference between him and Eric. I mean, everything he's complaining that isn't done for him is exactly what we do for him. Uh, we don't give you money. Did you? Did I hear you say that? Yeah. How much money do you? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know what? I ought to smack you in the head. How much money do you think we've given you since we've known you? Do you have any idea? And I'm not talking about all the gigs we get you, the comedy gigs and going We're out. We're just and... giving him money. Uh, the, the number you're talking about is only since serious. I don't know how much we've given him since we've known him. Right. Okay, since serious, how much money have we given you? Um, Do you know? I don't have a calculator. Well, I'll tell you, I calculated. But he said we don't give him any money. $3,450. How much money have we given Eric since serious started? Do you know that answer? No. $1,533. You've sucked us off from more than double him. And you're on there crying like a little bitch how you don't get anything. You know, I don't see if Eric gets something, how it has anything to do with you. But by the same token, Eric is smarter. Right. And he yeah, right. ask for it. <laughs> I think that's bogus, too. I mean, you sound like a whining baby. First of all, nobody. this show doesn't owe you any money. Why are you comparing yourself to Eric? And and by the way, in the comparison, you've wormed more money out of us than Eric ever has. 
What, what do you say to that? But Eric asked, and he got. You didn't ask. Yeah, I did. I asked. Yeah. Who'd you ask? Does it matter? No, he, he asks all the time. And my point is, he, with all his asking, he's, he's made almost $4,000 in prize money. Eric has it now, made half I of that. I meant for the IQ test. Eric actually asked. Eric actually uh, asked at the end, and I said no, and he participated anyway because he did. I gave him some money, but so what? But Nobody he brought up the money. Jeff money. didn't. What's that got to do with how much money you've gotten versus him? Shame on you. But to say you've never gotten anything is ridiculous. I, I never got money. I mean, yeah, Eric got money for taking the IQ test because I thought he was being gracious at the end, and, no, I, and I rewarded him. He demanded money. That's right, he did. But what's that got to do with you and how much money you get? You're silly. That was a world-class tantrum if I've ever heard one. Yeah. When you hear that, what does it make you think? Yep, yeah, I'm ungrateful, right? Yep. Yeah. No, I mean, do you really listen to that and get embarrassed for yourself? Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> you should. It's terrible. I mean, I was driving in my car, really, I actually got angry. I was like, does that guy have any idea we've given him so much money? You actually laughed, probably. No, I was like, wow, I got angry. I wanted yeah. to get, I almost wanted to drive back and get on the air, but I came to my senses. I know better than that. I have a new nickname for Bobo. What's that? Dumbo. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before. That's funny. Yeah, Bobo was pretty... Uh, he was destroyed. I heard he was bummed, but John Hine was mm. also very bummed. Nah, John Hine has nothing to be bummed about. I mean, he wanted to be the smartest guy on the show, and he wasn't. But... I don't think it's fixed. Were you upset that you were lower than Eric the Midget? I don't believe it, Howard. I, I can't believe that. Yeah, but we didn't lie. I cannot believe... No, I bet... I want to be touched about the same guy that touched Eric, giving me the same breaks that Eric fucking got. No, in fact, the guy said he believes Eric would be higher. He didn't give him any breaks. He says because of his multiple handicaps, that they, he should have been given certain breaks. Well, well, my doctor said the same thing, hmm. and he said I would have scored well into the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I guess you're just going to have to live with the results. <laughs> hey, Bobo. Hey, how you doing, Howard? First oh, of all, I, Jeff, I, I, didn't mean to, I didn't want to hang up on Jeff. Can you get Jeff back on? I, I, I locked him in, and it didn't stay locked. Uh, hold on, Bobo. Hey, and Howard. Yeah. Well, I have you on the line. The IQ betting, part two is not up there. And I've been talking to Doug about this. Somehow cable vision or someone screwed up, and it's like a cliffhanger. A lot of my friends said, well, we don't know who wins. It just shows you the betting, and then that's it. If the show ends. Is that right? Part two does, yeah. Hey, guys, you know that part two of the IQ test isn't up on Howard TV? Yeah, it's, I think it's just a cable vision issue. We're looking into it. Oh, it's specific to cable vision. Correct. All right. I would think that Bubba wouldn't want it to air. No, Bubba's proud of it. No, 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 it's not me. It's all my friends. Oh. Yeah, it's not Bobo. Not me. It's Bobo's friends. He's bringing it up, though. He must want to see it. Want you, his friends to see it. You couldn't get Jeff back on the line, Gary? They're calling. They're calling. They're calling it. I mean, he's... No. They probably shut his phone off. We keep getting his answering machine now, Howard. Did you get teased a lot? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was in bad shape. I really was. And what, still... what was your number again? I forget. 87, I think. 87. Are you serious, Bobo? Yeah. Wow. 87. I, I forgot. I can't believe it. I know. Jeez, that's... It's like it, it didn't phase me at all because all my years that I worked, I did very well for myself. Yeah. I mean, I used to make big money. You're like a dog. <laughs> I think dogs have an IQ of 87. He can be trained. <laughs> <laughs> that is upsetting when you find out you're, you know, you're big dumb. <laughs> but it is. Does it really stay with you or did you forget? No, you know why now? Because I have everybody, I like my wife, and everybody's telling me, you know, well, look at all the years you, you worked, and I'm still working, I'm saving people's lives, and, you know, I, I did good for myself. I made a lot of money. I, I have a house made of water. I mean, you you're, know, saving, okay. you're saving people's lives? Yeah, well, I give all these classes with, you know, keep the drunks off the road. Yeah. You know, I teach a lot of traffic safety. So he teaches really stupid things like 
you shouldn't drink and drive. Yeah. They, they, they get a guy with an 87 IQ to teach you <laughs> the, something everyone knows already. Obvious. Uh, today I'm here to teach you not to drink and drive. Oh, really? We've never heard that theory before. We Why thought, is that? We thought drinking and driving was good. Thank you, Professor Bobo. I'm just saving lives. No, we no, we talk about the penalties about Leandre's law and all that. Uh, so to, we try to educate people. Yeah, well. Make them see the light. Can I ask Bobo a question? Bobo, because I know a lot of people deal with this. Do you believe in your heart now that, that the 87 number is true, or do you believe that it's not true? Uh, I can't believe it's true now. <laughs> I, I just know from what I did all my life, you know, and right. just how I carry myself. And people look at me and go, you got an 87? Yeah, maybe, you know what, you know? maybe you tensed up. Maybe that's, oh, Jeff the Drunk is back. Sorry, Jeff, I didn't mean to hang up on you. No. Yeah. Uh, Bobo, you wanted to address Jeff. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, Jeff, I mean, for you to, to knock me, I mean, what's your claim to fame? Being drunk all your life? I mean, what, what did you do for society? But he died, he did beach on the IQ test, Bobo. Yeah, I mean, I'm fucking retired 37 years. I got a pension coming in. I made, like, almost under 100 grand, okay, with my side business. What did you do all your life? What did I do? Yeah, what did you do besides living a trailer? What did you do besides be dumber than me, you fuck? <laughs> oh, that doesn't mean nothing. That was just a number. What was your What was your IQ, Jeff? What that? What did you score? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. So you beat him by two. The two points. So I wouldn't be dancing in the streets over two points. Yeah, but I got to tell you, Bobo, you rehearse your questions to me when you call in. That's a definite eighty seven move. Jeff doesn't well, do that. It's not rehearsing. Remember, I told you the reason why I do that because I think of things I'll, I'll forget, it, so I write it down. Right. That's what it is. I'll be driving in my car and think about something I want to ask. Because sometimes he gets on and he reads the He question. reads them. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't do that. But uh, it, I, I do for that reason, so I can retain it and remember everything I want to ask you. But what does it seem that, like an 87 to me? I was shocked by that. i got to admit. I think I, I, it's uh, it's really surprising what people can do with an 80-something. Motiv motivated guy. Yeah. You know, seven more points, seven less points, he's a moron. <laughs> you realize that? If you guys see me teach, you would say, I can't fucking believe it. Well, but the kids were throwing things at the back of your head. Right, that's true. No. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were showing you no respect. <laughs> Weren't they throwing, like, shit at your, your toupee? Oh, that was early on when I did driving. But you guys think I, I was just doing the driving part. That's what Sal thinks. I just I, I teach in a classroom. Right. That was what when it was the 85. people. What did right. you teach? The driving test? Yeah. I, no, I teach driver safety. But driver safety ed. You teach driver's people, ed. You teach people how to drive. You were my... Driving safety. Yeah, we go with basic law, everything. 10% yeah. off the insurance. The, the points come off your life. I do all that. And you're good with simple math. I mean, eight times seven. What is it? Seven times eight, fifty-six. I, I'm faster than anybody. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, that's good. Nine times nine, eighty-one. I, I, my mother drilled that in when I was a kid. Oh. Up to up to nine times tables before you even say it. I have the answer. Four times five. Twenty. Look at this guy. It's on fire. <laughs> I I they drilled it into him like hair plugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a certain stupid stuff I retain. You know. Thirteen plus thirty-eight. Quick. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's just a nine times save. They didn't, they didn't oh, drill tonight. that into it. <laughs> All right. All right, boys. Uh, thank you. And, uh, Jeff, you got plenty of money from the show. Don't feel sly. Yeah, oh. yeah, Jeff, don't be, uh, don't be a schnarro. Apologize, as a matter of fact. He's a fucking clown, this guy. Uh, what is it, Jeff? You know, um, my furnace shit the bed. What? Oh, my furnace shit the bed. His Your furnace shit the bed? Yeah. Uh, I, I gotta go. He's gonna work on me. Right. I know what I know what was coming next. He has no <laughs> furnace. He has no heat. Can I give him? Right. Now. All right. Goodbye. Give me another hundred fifty dollars. All right. Thank you. My friend bit the bed. What? The friend bit the bed. <laughs> you don't even know what he's talking about. Uh, my friend. I thought he said my friend shit the bed. <laughs> Didn't you? At first, but then I was like, no, he's saying furnace. 